In the last video, I showed you how to safely lift a Jeep Commander from the rear differential. But what about the front? Well, similar to the rear, the front cross member is not listed as a recommended lifting point in the owner's manual, but it is an acceptable location. I've also included links to all the tools and accessories that I'll be using throughout the series in the description. Before you start, make sure you're on a flat surface and if it's inside a garage that has door sensors, put something in front of those sensors just in case someone or something were to accidentally cause the door to lower, if your vehicle isn't completely inside the garage. Also, go ahead and chalk the rear tires and engage the e-brake to prevent the Jeep from rolling. You can feel and hear the difference when comparing the frame to soft metal. Next, you'll need to remove the plastic cover to make room for the floor jack and stands. This could be avoided if the Jeep were on ramps, but you already know how I feel about that. And the only reason I'm doing this is to change the oil and filter, which will be in the next video. You'll need a half inch six point socket to remove the bolts, and possibly a breaker bar if you don't have a long reach. I later realized the two front bolts only need to be loosened because it has a notch that allows you to remove the cover without completely removing the front bolts. I am using the rubber pad for this location since there is more surface area to work with. Just make sure the saddle is centered along the cross member and slowly start pumping the handle. Similar to jacking from the rear differential, you shouldn't hear much of anything while lifting from the front. If you were to hear any crunching sounds while jacking a car, then you should immediately stop and lower the vehicle and check for damage because you're pressing against something you shouldn't. Once you have enough clearance, slide the floor jack stands into place and slowly lower the Jeep. And I do recommend using the floor jack as a third support for additional safety from a nearby lifting point just barely making contact because you want the floor stands to do the work. Whenever you're done, raise the Jeep high enough to clear the floor stands and slowly lower the vehicle after removing both stands. I like keeping the jack stands on pine wood not only to protect my garage floor, but you can easily slide them in and out of position. Loose install the two front bolts, position the cover, and hand tighten the remaining bolts. And just like before, there was no damage and this process did not affect my Jeep's performance on the road in any way. In the next video, I'll show you how to change the oil and filter. Until then, be sure to check the description for links to the tools, accessories, and other videos.